Hey, today we're going to talk about replacing nouns with pronouns. And the first thing that we need to know in order to do that is that we have subject pronouns and that we have object pronouns. The subject pronouns need to be used in the subject part of the sentence, and the object pronouns are used in the predicate part of the sentence. For example, we have I as a subject pronoun and we have me as, a, as an object pronoun. So if I said I went to the movies, I'd say I because I is a subject pronoun. I wouldn't say me went to the movies because that me is an object pronoun. If I used um, me in the predicate to make it an object pronoun, it'd be like, would you go to the movies with me? See, at the, in the predicate part of the sentence, we use me. In the subject part of the sentence, we use I. So here are your subject pronouns, I, you, she, he, it, we, and they. And here are our object pronouns that, that go in the predicate part of the sentence. Me, you, her, him, it, us, and them. And here's just some examples. So Mike lost his notebook. Mike couldn't find it anymore anywhere. So this here, the, the word with the asterisks around it, we're going to replace that with a pronoun. So Mike lost his notebook. He couldn't find it anywhere. That tree is really high. Nobody is allowed to climb that tree. We can replace that tree with it. The other day I was talking about how pronouns are vague, which we don't know what it is unless it's already been established. So that's why we use pronouns, because we don't want to repeat ourselves all the time. If you repeat yourself all the time, it's called being redundant. So I don't want to say I don't want to say tree again and tree again and tree again. So I'm going to say that tree is really high. Nobody is allowed to climb it. We know what it is because the tree has already been established. <clears throat> Same thing here. Meg used Meg's calculator to figure out the answer. <clears throat> We're not. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> We're not going to. Uh, repeat Meg's name there. We're going to say Meg used her calculator to figure out the answer. Now, the next one, Steve and Emily went running. Steve and Emily went really far. Once again, we want to replace these nouns with a pronoun. It actually will sound better because we're not repeating ourselves. So Steve and Emily went running. They went really far. And last one here. So John and I are lost. John and I hope someone finds John and me. So we're going to replace this John and I and this John and me. Now, we're saying John and I. So this is talking about yourself. John and me talking about yourself. So this will change to John and I are lost. We, because this is in the subject, hope someone finds us because that is in the predicate. So we use the subject pronoun in the subject and we use the object pronoun in the predicate. All right. Good luck with that.